everything I do is based on research. The seven steps of intentional leadership that I'm going to share with you today is based on research. This is not Gary McGrath's, you know, model of stuff that I kind of crafted and said, based on my leadership experience, this is what it is. Is it based on my experience? Absolutely. But this is based on research that's been done for the last 20, 30, 40 years and longer on how to be more effective leaders. Now, I want to make sure that we understand something as we discuss this and the separation from leaders and leadership. Leadership is always needed, but we don't always need a leader. Where that leader comes from at any given time is it can come from anywhere. But if we all work towards this and we really get a grip on what this is, we can share leadership, understand it, and take the opportunity and engagement and empowerment to speak up when you need to. Leadership development comes from the inside out. We cannot be effective leaders without first taking care of ourselves and developing ourselves. And the more skills and the more flexibility we have in understanding ourselves and who we are. You see, knowing the core of who we are allows us to be more flexible on the outside. When you see good leadership or you see an effective leader, it's not hard for you to go, there it is, that's it, that's right there. Now my question is, how do you do it? This is entirely about you today. How do you do this? And where do you start? We in our life are quite often focused by social conditioning to focus on our weaknesses, not our strengths. We're going to spend some time understanding why we need to focus on strengths, not just individually, but as a team, and how synergistically focusing on our strengths is not just more effective, it's more fun. What we're going to learn today is some foundational things on leadership that are going to help us be more effective, not just in, in work, but in our lives, in our personal relationships, in the way we live our lives, the way we do the things that we do. Because experience alone is a horrible teacher. We can learn through training and teaching, coaching, mentoring, and experience. And when we put all that together, we can really create something spectacular.